Hello and welcome. Welcome to the basement. This is a record I found called The First Family. And this is side two. We'll get it a spinning. We'll line it up just so. What is that noise? Okay, something's not right here. Something is not right. What is that noise? I don't know what that was. It was a clunk, clunk, clunk. All right. Turn on the Commodore monitor. Put the microphone in place and lower the boom. Thanks for coming. Enjoy this trip down memory lane. following is a public service announcement. Election day is near. Go to the polls and vote. Vote for the Kennedy of your choice, but vote. <laughs> Do you really think you can get away with this? You know, Pierre, I've uh, been criticized in the newspapers for the big parties and the uh, state dinners. Now we've got to cut down, and the economy starts at home. Uh, all right, if you say so. Oh, here they are. Uh -huh. All right, uh, gentlemen, uh, let us be seated. Uh, Mr. Adenauer, if uh, you will sit uh, next to your uh, friend, Mr. De Gaulle. And uh, Mr. Uh, Castro, if you will sit here next to your friend, Mr. Khrushchev. Mr. Anasha, if you will sit here next to uh, Mr. Ben-Gurion. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Nkrumah, if you will sit in between Mr. Ben-Gurion and Mr. Nasha, then uh, you can uh, turn either way. Now, uh, Mr. Uh, Shankai Shek, would you uh, please uh, sit there beside Mr. Khrushchev? Oh, good. Now, uh, before we get down to the business at hand, I think lunch would be in order. Now, I thought that instead of the uh, formal food we usually serve here, that we would have a uh, typical American uh, businessman's lunch. So I'm going to send down to the delicatessen store for uh, some sandwiches. Well, how does that uh, how does that strike you, gentlemen? Uh, 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 Mr. Khrushchev, Mr. Khrushchev, would you? Uh, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but would you mind uh, just taking your shoe off the table? Now, I think uh, I'll have a uh, peanut butter and jelly on whole wheat with a uh, side order of a uh, coleslaw and a hot fudge uh, sundae, uh, Mr. De Gaulle. <laughs> I would like to have those on the glass. Well, I'm uh, sorry, General, but uh, we're only having sandwiches today. Then could I have a dove on the glass sandwich? <laughs> All right, uh, Pierre, a uh, chicken salad on white for the General. Uh, Mr. Uh, Sh uh, Shankai Shek. A uh, club sandwich would be fine. Thank you so much. Would you like it with a uh, little mayo? Please, not to mention that name. Uh, <laughs> right. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Mr. Uh, Nasser. I'll have a hot pastrami sandwich. I can never get it at home. <laughs> what uh, what kind of bread? White toast with lettuce and uh, mayonnaise. Uh, Mr. Nassau. What do you want, Ben-Gurion? Look, I, I know we don't get along. You, you never listen to me. Now you're fooling around with rockets. But this time, please listen. Pastrami don't go with white bread and lettuce and mayonnaise. <laughs> If you on rye bread with mustard and a glass tea, you will enjoy it. I think that, uh, I think that Mr. Uh, Ben-Gurion has a point there. All right. All right. I, I'll, I'll take a chance. Good boy. And if you like pastrami, next time you're in my neighborhood, drop into the house. My wife makes like a filter fish. It melts in your mouth. We'll have to get together, Mr. Ben-Gurion. My name is Ben-Gurion. You can call me Ben. My name is Abdul Nasser. You can call me Abe. <laughs> Good. Now, uh, fine. Mr. Uh, Mr. Khrushchev. Well, you don't have to order special for me. I'll have a bite of everybody else's. 
All right, uh, Mr. Uh, Adnauer. You have one sandwich here in America I love. I have a Western sandwich. If Adenauer has a Western sandwich, then I'll have an Eastern sandwich. There is a uh, no Eastern sandwich. Then I want the Eastern portion of his Western sandwich. I'm, uh, I'm uh, sure, I'm sure we can uh, negotiate on that subject. Uh, Mr. Castro. No pregunte que su patria puede hacer para usted. Pero pregunte que usted puede hacer para su patria. I have a chicken sandwich with a live chicken. Well, uh, well, that leaves uh, Mr. Ren uh, Krumer. What will you have, sir? I'll have some watermelon. Don't put me on, Mr. Nagrumer. <laughs> and egg sandwich, and a coke. And, and I guess a bowl of borscht. Okay. Okay, uh, Pierre, uh, put the rush on it. There we go. Well, gentlemen, that was a uh, pleasant lunch. Now, uh, under discussion today, will be a nuclear disarmament, followed by the UN bond issue and a uh, matter of the trade agreements. Now, first, there is a most important matter to settle. Uh, Mr. De Gaulle, yours was the chicken salad and coffee. That's a dollar forty. <laughs> well, what do you say, Dexon? Will you make up your mind? Well, sir. I think that two million is much too much. However, sir, I do think that the residual benefits to be derived from this project would more than compensate, sir, for the original outlay of funds. I see. Uh, Mr. Rosk, what do you think? Well, sir, I do not go along with Mr. Dexon. The residual benefits are beside the point. It's a dangerous move. I'd like to say something if I might. Must you, Lyndon? <laughs> Mr. Rusk or Mr. Johnson here have the right, sir, to advise in this particular matter. I do believe, sir, that the decision is up to you. And if I may say so, you are holding things up. I think this truly calls for an immediate decision on your part, sir. Ev, uh, you drive a hard bargain. <laughs> but, uh, okay, here's what I'll do. I'll sell you a boardwalk in Park Place <laughs> with a Oh, who goes there? Oh, it's you. Go right ahead. Hold it, hold it. Where are you going? Oh, oh I'm sorry. I, I didn't recognize you, sir. Hey, no one is admitted beyond... Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't know it was you. Yes? Oh, it's, it's you. What is it? Caroline cannot be played. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry, young man, but she can't. She's in Italy with her mother. Doing. <laughs> now down onto the floor for this week's press conference. Yes, well, there is no opening statement. I think I will just take the uh, first question. No, I, I'm not up to date on that. No, uh, I sent a uh, personal representative to Africa uh, some months ago. So far, she hasn't even dropped me a card. <laughs> yes. Uh, 
Let me say this about that now. <laughs> Well, they're false. No, I don't believe in those charges, and neither does my uh, brother Bobby nor my uh, brother Genghis. <laughs> uh, yes. Sir, we understand that on-the-spot nuclear inspection might not be necessary. Do you have a new way that we can tell what the Russians are doing without actual on-the-spot inspection in the Soviet Union? Yes, we are asking everyone to uh, be very, very quiet. <laughs> You in the uh, flowered hat. Yes, I'd like to. Uh, not you, sir. The uh, the lady behind you. Sir. Yes. When will we send a man to the moon? Whenever uh, Senator Goldwater wants to go. <laughs> Definitely not. I think he should finish school first. <laughs> Yes. What are you going to do about the medical care for the aging? Try to stay young. <laughs> I think we have time for one uh, final question. Yeah. Yes. Attitude office, what do you think the chances are for a Jewish president? Well, I think they're uh, pretty good. Now, let me say, I don't see why a person of the uh, Jewish faith can't be president of the United States. I know as a uh, Catholic, I could never vote for him, but other than that... <laughs> I worked three months on the creation of this dress. I believe, uh, how you say, madame, it is you. A shock original for you. Eh? Why, Jacques? I like it. It has a very distinctive air about it. Yet it is conservative. Are you making me so happy? I have thought and thought, and I have decided to name this after you. The First Lady. Eh? You see, Jacques. To tell an artist what to do, but I wondered, would you mind if I made one small change? Would you remove the top button? Ah, um, madame, a wonderful idea. Of course, that is the touch it needed. Merci. I think I'll wear it tonight to the empty ball. Masha. Ah, madame, madame, you make me so happy. Mm, Mrs. G, rip the top button off those 5,000 first ladies and put them on a rack. Watch me the uh, magazine section of the Times. I am doing the puzzle. Well, then uh, give me the uh, book review section. Ah, here you are. Isn't it nice being here alone on a Saturday night? Just the two of us for change. That's what you said last Saturday and the uh, Saturday before that and the uh, Saturday before that. Want to see a movie? Fine. There's a wonderful abstract Swedish picture for you. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> I know where there's a good Italian movie playing, seeing as how you uh, like foreign films. Wonderful. Which one? Hercules, starring uh, Steve Reeves. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Well, there, you're, uh, there must be uh, something to do. I just uh, feel so guilty just sitting here, like I'm cheating the country. <laughs> you want to go bowling or something? I can't. I lent Lady Bird my ball. <laughs> what are the Russes doing? They're always entertained. If you call them and you could feel them out. I'll call them. Rush, please. The President of the United States. <laughs> Hello, Dean. No, no, it's uh, not an emergency, not a big one. Well, I wanted to uh, know uh, what's going on there. 
I hear noises and laughter. Oh, a party isn't that nice. The Rusks are having a party, Jack. <laughs> I was just uh, telling Jackie that you were having a party. Yes, uh, she's here, here with me. We're uh, home alone tonight. Just the two of us. <laughs> she and I, no one else. Alone. <laughs> the two of us. <laughs> what? What did I call about? Oh, it's uh, not important. I'll discuss it with you on Monday. Yes, thanks. Oh, and Dean, if, if you get any uh, political questions that you can't answer, be sure and call me, because I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Jackie and I will be home, alone. Goodbye. I'll tell you what. Let's call up for a pizza. I can't do that. I can't uh, call up and say, this is the President of the United States. Send up a sausage pizza. Just uh, Don't tell them who you are. Just tell them to send it to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. I don't know if I can do that. Well, let's do something. I don't want to stay home. I'm sick and tired of staying home and staring at these same 100 walls. <laughs> hello? Oh, hello, Elsa. Elsa Maxwell, Jackie. What? You're having a uh, party and you wonder if by any remote chance we uh, happen to be free. Free? Jackie and I on a Saturday night? You know, Elsa, sometimes I wonder about you. <laughs> We're uh, having our own party. Can't you hear it? Jackie, off it up. <laughs> hear that, Elsa? <laughs> that Adlai, uh, he's uh, such a beauty. He always makes Jackie laugh. <laughs> just, uh, just a minute. Sir. Yes, sir, thank you. I will have some more champagne and uh, fill the Maharaja for Rhoda's glass. <laughs> Don't forget the Maharini. Oh, oh Elsa, I uh, have to hang up uh, the... Humphreys and Goldwaters are at it again. <laughs> Goodbye, Elsa, and thanks for thinking of us. Pass me the uh, magazine section of the Times. Doing the puzzle. Well, then give me the uh, book review section. Isn't it nice being here alone on a Saturday night? Just the two of us. Acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind. All right, uh, Jackie, you take it here. Should I be forgot and take All right, uh, Caroline, now you come in. For all lang syne, my dear. Take it together with vigor. We'll take the cup of kindness yet for all Yes, yeah, go to sleep now, Caroline. Uh, Daddy uh, tucked you in, and you've had uh, three glasses of water. Now, good night. Tell me a story, Daddy. Oh, come on, sweetheart. It's uh, late. Just one short story, Daddy? Oh, all right, uh, just one. Tell me my favorite story. About the tall man? Yes, with all the hair. Well, there was this uh, tall man with, with a, a lot, lot of, of hair. hair. And uh, he was prince and a great warrior. The people of his uh, country uh, picked him to be their leader because he could uh, protect them and lead them on to the uh, new frontiers. Tell me about when he had the trouble. Well, uh, Caroline, first he had the trouble with the steel duke, and then all the uh, money lords... <laughs> then all the uh, money lords uh, gave him trouble, and then all the other lords wanted to uh, take his uh, job away. But when he talked, everyone uh, believed him, and he remained as their leader. 
Now, one day, the evil prince would be Blackbeard from the island in the south, and the, uh, <laughs> the terrible fat bear from the cold north came, and they tried to hurt the prince. But the prince was too smart, and he chased them away. So the handsome prince and all the people of his country lived happily ever after. Oh, I was scared. But hooray for the prince. And thank you, Daddy. Good right. night. Good night, uh, Caroline. Good night. These sessions do him so much good. <laughs> And that was side two of The First Family from 1962. I had never even knew this existed before. Anyway, hope you had a laugh and a chuckle. And uh, I suppose regardless of whatever country you were in, wherever you are in the world, hopefully you're allowed to vote and hopefully you do vote despite the efforts of some people to keep people from voting. Oh, it is ironic that some people who are fighting for democracy would do anything to make it more difficult to vote. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this record. I certainly did. Thanks for coming. Bye for now.